He's from uh, Red Hat. Uh, he's a software engineer, and uh, uh, he will introduce uh, alternate customization VM image with uh, image building uh, builder. So please welcome uh, Charles Shi. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm very glad to be here to see uh, you guys in the both uh, uh, community so, and the uh, expert. Uh, thank you uh, very much. And uh, uh, the city uh, and Shenzhen is a very great city. So um, uh, my topic is uh, automate, automate uh, customizing the VM image with the uh, image builder. So my name is Shi Chen in Chinese, and so my English name is Charles Chi, and I'm from Red Hat uh, Beijing. Uh, I work with the I work for the virtualization technologies such as the uh, Zen, uh, KVM, and uh, also the public cloud such as Alibaba Cloud and AWS. And I also need a small team to do the performance validation on this uh, cloud. And uh, this is my uh, personal website and uh, technical blog. And uh, also, uh, this is my email address. You can contact with me. And uh, what I want to talk about today is the introduction of the image builder. What, why, and how. And uh, then I will show two demos. One is to use the image builder with me, and the other one is to use the DRI. And the uh, next is the uh, future goal. And the uh, Q&A section, section, if we have time. So what is the image builder? This is a Mm, this is a uh, abstract from the product document. It says the it's the image builder is a tool for creating customized uh, system images and for VM and cloud images. And it makes you run faster compared to the manual procedure. It abstracts away the specific of each of the of the time. So this is the workflow here. You can see in the center part, uh, this is the Lorax controller. This is the basic component of the, of the image builder. And it's also the upstream, upstream, upstream uh, REPL name. Uh, and it uses the RESTful API to communicate the GUI and the CRI. As the end user with GUI or DRI, we we can put the we can design the Red Hat packages or the third party packages and uh, the customized uh, configuration to the image. And as output, we can get the uh, the system reseller ISO and uh, system image and the FS cloud system images and also the VM or cloud images. So why image builder? Image builder is friendly because you can use it uh, in the unified GUI, which is called as Red Hat Red Console. You will see that in the following uh, demo session. And uh, you can hands on, it's very tricky. And uh, also it is very powerful. You can use the image for different platforms and uh, faster than many procedures. It's also professional. Customized, you can, because your customization is standard code, so it can help you to create a secure and a high quality images. And it's well tested and uh, supported by Red Hat. And it's also extremely flexible. You can it can be automated. It can be integrated with uh, so many management tools. So what is about the uh, output types? In real sense, we, we have supposed 
the common uh, desalination ISO and uh, the QCOM2 image and uh, also the raw disk, raw disk and uh, uh, sound system images. For real is we added four new output paths, such as the AMI for, <coughs> for the AWS, VHD for the Azure, uh, for the Azure and uh, VMPK for VMware, and uh, also we support the uh, open stack from real is. So you can try to use it. So how to use the image builder? Uh, we have two ways to image the uh, to use the image builder. First one is to use the GUI plugin. It allows you to use the image builder from Red Hat Web Console, and uh, you can get a very quick start. Also, you can use the CRI too. This is a preferred method because you can because it can easily integrate it with the other tools and more functions are available in this method. So this is trying out. Some the, in the business or personal uses, you can integrate the image builder with the Red Hat Ansible automation. Ansible is a Red Hat tool which is uh, totally free of charge. You can use it to maintenance the image builder and uh, to create the create your data center on the private or public cloud. To use this uh, image builder, you need to install it uh, into your computer. To install it, uh, first uh, you need to install the lower composer package because this is a basic component of the, of, of the image builder. And then if you want to use the CRI, you should install the composer CRI package. If you want to use the GUI, you should install the Kotkat composer, uh, composer package. And uh, <coughs> next, you need to start the Lorex Composer service and then enable the Kotkat socket if you want to use the GUI. Uh, and uh, then you can configure firewall to allow you access the Red Hat Web Console from remote. So this is uh, but if you use the need to use the GUI, so you can see this. This is that, okay. So talk is cheap, show me the demo. The first demo is about using the image builder with GUI. <coughs> Here we type in, the, type in the IP address of the server and the phone number. Use your, use your root to log in to the web console. I use the URI here to do the demo because the URI is the, uh, will have the latest feature. So now you can see this is the Red Hat Web Console. You can manage it from, from remote. So if you install the correctly, you will see the image builder on the upper left corner of the screen. Of the screen, just click it and uh, you can see here is uh, some blueprint. Blueprint is uh, where we design the how we use the image. So there are three examples, and the one and the one blueprint is I just created in, in the other demo. So let's uh, look at the let's click here the the right part. And here is our maintenance resources. So you can see uh, there so many resources is uh, here. In, in it has been installed on my on my computer. So this is a Fedora image. Uh, this is a Fedora, so it's a Red Hat Red Hat uh, content, right? And uh, such as this one, the Redo Fusion. This is a third party resource. So we can install the package we need from all these uh, source installed. And here we can also add the sources. Here, uh, type in a name such as out and uh, give a path, select a path, and click the add source. Then we can use the text in, in the out. 
So here I click cancel. And now we create a blueprint. The name, demo, age, and uh, some description. Okay, create it. We can see on the left of left of page is the this is uh, some packages here we can use to install into the image. Just uh, type something here to filter what you want. Let's uh, filter the image so that uh, we can use an image for, for our web server. And here is the version. We can choose a basic version such as this. And or you can choose a latest version such as the, the latest 1.16, or just uh, the, the latest, uh, the most latest version of the package. And uh, you can see here is the dependency. It has been resolved automatic, automatically and the price as button. So this, this package has been added to the blueprint components now. So may, we may want to add in another package such as the database. So we type a RMP here. And if you don't want to specify the version, just install the latest one, just to click the add button here. So you will see it has been added to your blueprint and uh, its dependency. So let's just click the commit to save the changes. You can see this is the pending changes and click the, click the commit button. Let's get back to the blueprint. So the first is the uh, customization type. We can design a host name here. So this is my this is the default host name for VM, and uh, we can add a user here, such as the child, and uh, type in your password here. If you have the SSH key, you can paste the SSH publish key here. So this is the, the user we just designed. And we can edit it or delete it or even add another one. And the second is the packages page. You can see the, this is the packages and its dependencies. And also the image page. We can, here we can create an image. Here we can see we have a lot of image types to select, uh, such as uh, we can select the AWS one. So we will create, we will get uh, AMI for the for the AWS using, and then click the create. It tells you that uh, uh, the image creation has been added to the queue. Just uh, wait a moment. Okay, here we can see it's in pending status. Let's, let's refresh the page. Oh, it's in progress now. So we can check the log. Okay, has the log. And uh, now we should be waiting for some minutes to make it fit to wait for it finish. So let's get back. When it's finished, it will like this. Uh, yeah, like this one, complete. So just click the download here to download the, to get the image using. So the, this is how to use the GUI. And uh, about how to use the DRI, I want to highlight some class here. We, we can define a blueprint in the CRI just by editing the TOML file. Uh, this is a text file, text file in Homo format. So just put what you want in, 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 the, in, the, 
in the file and uh, with the first command to push this file into the image loader. So it will become a blueprint in your system. So you can show that blueprint. And uh, if you want to edit the blueprint, you need to use the blueprint save to save the blueprint to a file, to a text file, and edit that text file again and uh, push it again. And uh, if you want to validate the packages and, if, and their dependencies, you can use the blueprint resolve. And uh, to, if you see the result here, so you will, you will make sure that your definition is uh, correct. And uh, the, the commands for the compose. Compose is uh, a procedure to create an image. So uh, we, can use, we can use the second one to start a compose. It means to create an image. Uh, compose start, blueprint name, and the compose type. So if you don't know what, what type is supported in your, in your system, just use the first, uh, first uh, command here, compose type, then it will list all the available types in your system. So you can choose one. And uh, you can also list a uh, compose by the and its status by compose status and the compose UID. The UID is will provide it uh, when you successfully start a compose. So it will you use uh, you can use this command to check the status of your compose. When it's finished, you can use compose image to download your image to the to to your local. Um, and uh, here is the demo, but uh, um, we don't have so much, so much time, so I put the demo here. Um, you can you can check check the you can go to this address to check uh, check the demo, and uh, uh, it will show you uh, all all you can do in the DRI. If you are interested in to try it out, don't forget to check it out. And then what's the next? The next uh, is the Ansible will have image support for the image builder. You know, um, now we use image builder with Ansible, just we use Ansible to trigger the image builder CLI command. But in the future, Ansible will make it support the image builder. It means you will, uh, Ansible will have image builder module for, the, for, 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 for us to use. So it will, so we will use it more conveniently and more powerful. And uh, the next version of image builder can push the image to the public cloud by itself. You know, now we just uh, get the image and then defer. Uh, how we use it is, is to defer the image to defer the image installation provision uh, to the to the Ansible, but in the future, in the next version, we, uh, we will have a feature that image builder can push the image to the public cloud by itself. And uh, more image types will be supported, such as Alibaba, such as uh, the IBM or Google image can be, can be created by the image builder. And the more development and the configuration options and a more powerful GUI plugin will be provided in the, in the following uh, version. So here I list uh, some useful links. The first is the image builder on, uh, on real aid document. So this is an official document for image builder. You can check how to use it. Yeah, and the uh, second is the uh, upstream project and blog. You can see the Lorex, Lorex composer here. And uh, the third one is uh, how to, it's an uh, in introduction how to use the Lorex composer. And the fourth one is to, it's maybe focused on how, how you can do in the CLI. And uh, the last one, uh, is the upstream, uh, it is a GitHub example for the GUI, uh, for the GUI plugin. 
That means uh, the name is copy the composer. So you can you can try to uh, do something out here. And so any questions? Do we have to, do we have time? Probably not. So I think you, uh, I'm in the WeChat group, so if you have any questions related to the index builder or related to, related to the public cloud or Red Hat, just uh, contact with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Charles. And uh, next time, a uh, very short break.